Well, the Halloween season is one many of us look forward to with anticipation and excitement over the decorations and the costumes. Second News reporter Natalie Wada spoke with a group making sure all the ghouls and goblins get suited up for festivities in tonight's Good News with 13. Over at the A.D. Lewis Community Center in Huntington, staff are already preparing to help local kids have a festive Halloween. For the eighth year in a row, the city of Huntington and the A.D. Lewis Community Center will be accepting uh, new and slightly used Halloween costumes. We are asking for costumes for boys and girls of all ages. Chambers says the Halloween costume drive has been a hit with kids since it began, and it's the city's way of giving back. We wanted to do our part to collect as many costumes as we could. What we don't want to see is a child miss trick-or-treat because their family cannot afford a uh, costume or does not have transportation to get out to a store. Historically, the drive has done well. On average, we've received about 200 to 250 costumes a year. Chambers says they'll take as many as they can get to give to the kids. Drives like these aren't the only option for families wanting to join in on the Halloween festivities. A district manager of a local thrift store chain says Halloween is anticipated to be a busy time for them too as people look for affordable and alternative costumes. Options. Since costumes are in a shortage right now and they can also be very expensive, a lot of people like to come in and put their own outfits together and it's something very fun that you can do with your family. We spoke with residents about the costume drives and what it means to have affordable costume options. I think that's awesome because, let's face it, people are short of money. Everything's higher. If we're going to do something like this, we need to have affordable options. They're excited and ready to trick or treat. Ellie, tell her what you would like to be for Halloween. A ranch. It's giving back. We feel very strongly at City Hall that part of our mission to serve the community is also to give back to the community. One spooky get up at a time. In Huntington, Natalie Wattis, 13 News, working for you. And the Halloween costumes can be dropped off between 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. Monday through Friday at the A.D. Lewis Community Center. Get excited, everybody. You can drop those uh, costumes off until Huntington's Trick or Treat, which is October 29th. And if you have positive story ideas like this during these challenging times, we would love to hear from you. You can share them with us by sending an email to news at WOWKTV.com.